everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 2. We've just come back in town. Uh, she stopped me. Oh, stop it. This Dude. horse is only interested in eating those flowers. Good merchant, does this interest you? Thanking you, but no. Oh, I, I am very at the door. Oh, oh. So then we decide to go try to tickle the librarian to see if we can make her laugh. The librarian has no interest in that. You should get extra points from, like, tickling people. Yes. You can't use that there. No! Nothing happens. And then we try to combine everything. Nothing happens. Because, you happens. know, you have to do that these Nothing days. Nothing happens. 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 Sorry for Nothing the happens. Guys. Yeah, there's something wrong with like No need to catch that. You already have it. it around no need reason. to catch No need Yeah, no need cracklings from the uh, you don't you don't want to chop up your net, nor do you wish to have your sword tangled up in it. No need to catch that. No need to catch. No need to catch. No need to catch that. No need to catch. No need to catch. No need to catch. Yo, 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 yo. A large grandfather clock sits in. And then you make me check the time again. Because, you know. Just in case. Even though it's noon, it doesn't let us into the noon fucking is antique. to midday, apparently. Yes. You know, just Might like... you trade the shell comb for something? The merchant ponders over Which this for a moment. came out of nowhere. Of oh, value, but... many things are. Of fancy, only one I have. And that is? Pearls! Oh, he's about to speak Australian for the last time. Would you be interested in this pearl? Indeed, I would. In return, the shell I present to you. May you be always groomed well. The merchant grabs the pearl and tosses the shell comb to you. Then he saunters off. History will decide how greatly you were just swindled. Oh, what a beauty. This will be worth a fortune back home. Oh, God. Is that an Australian accent? Really? It doesn't sound like one. But I trust kind, you to it's know. It's kind of like, yeah, may maybe it's like a uh, british -y accent. british -y accent? That's the thing. It's hard to tell. Yes, they are similar. You know. Australia's like Irish and British combined, with a little bit of American in it. I don't think it sounds like <laughs> Irish at all. Oh yeah. It sounds nothing There's like an no Irish. Need to you like Irish is a very how ingenious! It's a shell which has been intricately fashioned into something resembling a comb. Okay. You Sorry, admire the level of artistic skill that went into this simple grooming tool. I said um, the Irish the Irish accent is, is very <laughs> soft and melodic, and a traditional Australian accent is very harsh. Yeah, but it's less harsh than, say, Brit the you Your are feather is not fine. class British. There's no need to Cockney, use that. Cockney, it's very Your similar feather. to Cockney. Yeah. Cockney, that's what I meant. That's what I think. Uh, that's what I mean. It's a slight alteration of Cockney more to the Irish side. At least that's what I think. I mean, it's just stupid. Australian accent is what it is. Okay. You make no sense. No, oh, kitties. So sorry for anybody who has a Cockney accent that I just called you lower class. Well, sorry, Australians are. are lower class as well. 
Not Victorians! Yeah, no, I, I know. I, Australians other than you are, Laura Klaus. Can you get me my pills, please? Where? In the front pocket of my backpack, where they've been for the last, like, week. Ow, 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 ow! Oh, God, my arm still hurts. I'm sorry, we had an accident while roller skating. Alright, so where are we going? Oh, we're going, we're going back to the mermaid. Ow! Dude! You hold out the shell comb in your hand. Clear recognition shines from the mermaid's delicate features. She hesitates a moment, then cautiously extends her arm, hands open expectantly. You gently place the shell comb in her palm. The mermaid examines it and smiles. She removes an opal necklace from around her neck yeah, and hands right. it to opal. you. After a Much moment of admiring her once pearl. lost possession, she looks at you with anticipation. Very valuable and rare. You attempt to charade the act and of going underwater to the mermaid. She regards you with a look of puzzlement. You know, right. Just when the whole demonstration becomes too embarrassing to continue, she suddenly dives into the sea and swims right up to you. And this looks very, very, very wrong. Well, they are kissing. Yes. After giving you a rather intense kiss, the mermaid dies under the water again. You wonder where she has disappeared to. Then suddenly, you feel a pulling at your legs. And then we thought maybe we had just died. The mermaid holds on to you, keeping you from resurfacing. You struggle instinctively while trying to hold your breath but she will not let go. You know you are going to black out soon. Wait a minute, you're still breathing. How can this be? Could it have been the mermaid's kiss? Speaking of which, where has she gone to this time? That thing looks ridiculous. It is a simple but carefully woven pendant of seagrass. A shiny opal dangles from it. Touching the necklace reveals that the opal, opal is perfectly smooth. You try Maybe to place it, it around your neck, but it guy. doesn't fit over your head. She's a dick then. Why is she a dick? The seahorse is waiting for you to mount its just saddle. Gave it away? You are under the sea. Amazingly, you're still able to breathe. A seahorse bobs in the current, awaiting you to mount his saddle. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I think we well, this is a new experience. The seahorse willingly allows you to climb upon its back. You slide into the little saddle and take up the reins in your hands. You just hope this creature knows where it is taking you. That's... Your drunken humor is not acceptable. After a time of traveling through ever-deepening water, you arrive at a massive stone archway. Passing through it, you notice it is covered with many different intricate symbols, none of which you recognize. Mer writing, perhaps? As you emerge on the other side of the arch, a grand sight greets your eyes. We couldn't bother to draw the arch. Yeah. You have entered an aquatic throne room. As one would expect, such a place has a throne of sorts. But what you see seated in it takes your breath away, if that still applies. It is unmistakably the ruler of the Mer people, the king of this watery world, known by many names. Neptune is the one by which he is best known to your kind. <laughs> king Neptune is tall and imposing and has a long gray beard. A crown fashioned of an unknown metal adorns his head. 
An enormous clamshell is situated at the end of the red carpet. Upon it sits an astonishing throne made from that solid look like gold. gold. No, not at all. A regal carpet runs this up to the king's weird, throne. Special blue gold. It Neptune's royal guards remind you of your own castle guards, except these are naked from the waist up and have fish tails. You expect that you would get about the same length of conversation out of them, perhaps less. The gates to this underwater kingdom are seldom open to strangers. You are obviously trusted here. The gates to this un... You have come to a place of great magnificence. Ornate columns adorn the entire area. The majesty of this room serves to emphasize the importance of the ruler who occupies it. Touch the ball. It's not a good idea to interfere with a guard on duty. You would do best not to touch anything out of respect to the king who reigns here. King Neptune does not appear to be the sort who enjoys being prodded by relative strangers. <laughs> okay. You bow before the king. He returns the gesture with a lowering of his own head. You open your mouth to speak, but only a bubble emerges. It begins floating up to the surface. You watch as your air bubble divides in two. Incredibly, each half maintains its semi-spherical shape. You take the half bubbles in your hands and position them respectively near your mouth and ear. A deep, elegant voice instantly booms from them. You are welcome here, human. Thank you. I am King Graham of Daventry. Your courtesy depicts your stature. What is it you seek here? You explain that you are seeking the three gems of nature, and that you believe one of them to be somewhere in this realm. You demonstrate the approximate size and shape of the gem, then mention the door of destiny and what you hope to find on the other side. Hmm. I do have that which you are seeking, and know of the door of destiny. It is very old. Its origin is known to but a few. What I possess was known to the ancients as the birth gem. In the realm of the Mer people, it is called the water gem, for without water, life cannot begin. Might I have this gem, your majesty? I shall let you have the gem, but first I must ask you to earn it by way of performing a service for me. You are so about to say anything, but then remember <laughs> I don't what even you heard know the last story, time you said that word to the stone door. Instead, you just nod and allow Neptune to continue. My trident, the symbol of my power and the Holy strength the of my people, yeah. has been stolen. A faint mumbling can be heard through the ear half of your bubble. This event is obviously of concern to those in attendance. It is believed that one of our allies and neighbors have taken advantage of the Mer people's kindness and that their own king now has possession of the trident. If you can reclaim it in the name of the Mer people, I will grant you ownership of the water gem. Will you do this, King Grim? The murmuring has stopped. All are awaiting your response. I would be honored to reclaim your trident, your majesty. My sentries will escort you to the border between our two He's not kingdoms. talking about the Sharkies, You he? may continue to use that steed to hasten your journey. <coughs> it is my best. My sincerest hopes that you do not fall victim to the Sharkies. As you prepare yourself for this new quest, a sudden pang of apprehension seizes you. Did the king just say sharkies, as in sharks? You read the bloody book. Yeah, exactly. Now do we have to exit these? Well, we're gonna save again, just in case, like, if we die... We, we get instantly killed by a sharky as we exit. Yeah. Go, dude. As you depart the underwater kingdom, you see two guards waiting to escort you to the Sharky's realm. So we are going to the Sharky's. Yeah. So wait, the Sharky's were their allies? I guess. The sentries swiftly guide you along the bottom of the seabed, descending into much darker, colder water. After keeping pace with them for what seems like an eternity, 
you notice a forebodingly dark area looming closer and closer. You have arrived at the border of the Sharky's kingdom. This is as far as the sentries will take you. Why? One of the guards salutes you. Then they both head back to the safety of their own waters. You're on your own from here, Graham. They don't... <sighs> Those guards were sure in a big hurry to get out of here. This well, underwater realm belongs to the Sharky. The water drops noticeably yeah, in temperature as you progress further into it. There are bound to be sentries on patrol around here, so you remind yourself to be alert. Yeah, but they won't know what I am. There they is think nothing that I'll of interest lying on the seabed, and you are sea not here to collect shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Will they even know what a man is? I don't know. It says that they kill strangers on sight. Are those sharkies or? <laughs> Underwater realm belongs to the sharky. I don't the think water drops so. in Somehow, into it. they don't there are bound to be think. sentries on patrol around here. <laughs> so you remind yourself. There is nothing of interest. <laughs> this kind of plant would not. Okay. <laughs> you are really silly in this one. Uh, hi. This underwater realm belongs. I'm pretty sure you glance at the shark nervously, but it does not seem to be paying you much attention. Fortunate this under risking your life to pet a shark does not seem a sensible ambition. There is nothing of interest. Well, can I talk to the shark? Maybe no, it's leaving. No, it's not this leaving. under shut up. <laughs> You're a tap. The shark seems un. Your speech becomes little. Oh, that's a sharky. It is a formidable sharky sentry, busy patrolling his assigned route. Okay. You saw a sharky in the sea. He quickly made a meal of the. If you want your life prolonged, next time don't delay so long. Okay, whatever. Prolonged does not rhyme with long. As you depart... Yeah, yeah, whatever. We have to watch this cutscene again. What I'm gonna <laughs> save. <laughs> the sentries... Blah, 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 blah. You have a rock. Those guards were sh quiet. Yes. Can I go this way? You pledged to Neptune that you would recover his tr Okay. You think you could turn it up? Oh, sure. This underwater realm belongs to the shark. There is nothing of interest lying on this. Just keep going. You're taking... Your speech becomes. Li here, I'll take over. Okay, I just don't want to get lost down here. Look, I'm trying. Oh, looks like it cut out. Yeah. Which is annoying because we're. This kind of plan. I know it cuts back. You need to get. Point. Of course it does at some point. Examining the heavily waterlogged remnants of the vessel, you notice an old antique bottle, half buried in the sand. And we assume there's a message in it, so we take the bottle and... It is a clear bottle, with a cork at the end. Inside, you can see... You remove the cloth from the bottle. This item cannot be used. It is a large sheet of cloth. It has a. S Can we put the cloth over ourselves to hide from the sharkies, baby? <laughs> we become a weird fusion of cloth and seahorse. Yes. Oh, it's ju it's just a seahorse with a bit of cloth on it. Yeah, they probably still want to eat the seahorse, but...
What? Oh my god. Apparently we're having a bit of an issue here. Um, but anyway, we're running short on time, so time to cut the video off now. Until next time, everyone. Bye! Bye!